And hi there, my beloved YouTube family. I have some special ones in store for you guys. Wow. And it is John Brass. That is the brewery and they are from Wallonie. So we have the white one. We have the blonde. That's actually kind of an IPA. You can see it here. It's written really tiny, but it is an IPA. It's a blonde. So then we have the Larus. It is a red one. And then we have also the brown. Awesome. Now, the white one comes in at 5.8% ABV. The other one, the blonde, 7.2. Larus, also 7.2% ABV. And then the brown one is 6.5% ABV. I'm going to do... If you haven't seen my other reviews before, <gasps> you might not know it. For all my new subscribers, sometimes I do two or three beers in one review. Oh yeah. I really do. And it will be now, guys. So amazing. I think I will do the white one, the blonde, and the brown. Oh yeah. La Russe, the red one. I don't know if it's gonna be a fruit beer or not. I don't think it's gonna be a fruit beer. It's gonna be more like a red ale, like your English style. But um to be sure, and <laughs> I don't like it, uh, I'm gonna do these three guys for you today. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna crack them open. It is there is nothing on the bottle cap, like you can see, bottle cap. Mm-hmm. And let's look at these beauties again, guys. I got it from a friend as a gift oh. for Christmas. Really nice gift. He actually got it from Brussels, from the Christmas market in Brussels. The brewery was standing there and he thought, this is a really nice gift. And I must say, the price was rather nice. I think he paid, wait a minute, um, hmm. it wasn't really expensive. I, it's gonna be like 10 euros, 11 euros. It was something like that for four beers. 33 centiliters. So, okay, we're gonna crack them open and I'm gonna do it really fast, like you know me. Uh, a little bit more about the brewery. So, this guy came from, lived in Argentina. Yeah, Buenos, Buenos Aires, something like that, in Argentina. He lived there and he brewed some of these beers, Belgium style. He brewed there and he got it to the people everywhere. And then he, uh, when he got back here to the flat country, that is Belgium, Wallonie, um, is Belgium of course. Um, and he brewed them, he refined them to make it more enjoyable for us Belgium guys. They started in 2015, the brewery started in 2015. So I'm quite curious about this one. So we're gonna try these beers. Uh, okay. Speed up time. We're gonna start with the with the, the white one. Okay, let's crack it open. Okay, it hasn't exploded. Oh yeah. Great okay, start. Glassware number one. Glass number one. And okay. Wheat beer, you know, wheat beer. You need lots of wheat. Sometimes you have your, your orange beer in there. Sometimes you have some spices like coriander sometimes. Could be anything to be honest. Okay. Great. Smells already really, really spicy. It smells like the drain. What? I'm not kidding. The drain, you know, from your sink. It doesn't smell that great. No. That's not the most awesome start, to be honest, but we will see, like always. Cheers, guys. Five point eight percent ABV, rather plain. It is your typical wheat beer, but then really your typical wheat beer. Like I told you, it's really spicy. You get some coriander. Your reeds. It is kind of full, taste-wise. The mouthfeel it feels rather nice. 
orange peel definitely but really lots of spices it's crisp it's clean it's rather smooth drinking but for me it's like your plain regular like we all know your who hardened type uh, with beer ish one so not at highest rating I'm gonna go with five and a half for the wood one the wood beer the white okay time for number two the blonde IPA but it is that blonde so to call it an IPA um yeah I don't know huge difference between IPAs from other countries and our Belgium IPAs with our Belgium yeast and look at this it's not gonna be a juice bomb quite some carbonation one finger head to it slight of white head yeah okay personal nose okay it smells kind of fruity but it's gonna be again our Belgium yeast our Belgium hops so I'm not expecting to be juicy or really fruit forward no it's not gonna be like that but it's gonna be more balanced more yeah easy drinking if I'm correct let's taste it cheers guys 7.2% by the way mm -hmm. a huge sip <laughs> and this one tastes rather nice but like I I was thinking it's not really an IP. Okay, you get some bitterness at the end. It's kind of fruity, but uh, okay, it's our Belgium style IPA. Um, not really in your face, but balanced and all that things. Uh, for a rating, six and a half. This one is rather nice. Six and a half. Okay, now our brown one. The brown, this one. Okay, six and a half percent ABV. Okay, yeah, here we go, guys, with the brown. And back in the days, when I started drinking beers, I didn't like the brown ones. Huh? Whether you believe it or not, I didn't like those brown beers, but after some time, you always evolve in taste and then I got to like them got to learn to like them spread the love yo okay here we go and I'm gonna keep the bottle with me so you can follow still okay first of the nose mm, I like that oh yeah again spice forward roasty some coffee great caramel amazing Get some red fruits, um, dry fruits, raisins. Fantastic. It's for a complex. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really smooth. This one. This one is way too smooth for the six point five percent ABV, and still then. It's hard to guess it is like only 6.5% ABV. Ingredients wise, okay, you get your chocolate, you get your coffee, you get some licorice, you get dry fruits, not the red fruits. I On the nose it feels, it smells a little bit of red fruits, but taste wise, no, it isn't. It's like medium bitter. It's not really bitter at the end or something. It's kind of full in taste, but it lacks on ingredients in my opinion. Oh. So this one I'm gonna get for me. Let's go between it, between the... I'm gonna give it 6 out of 10. 5.5 to 6 out of 10. 5.75 out of 10. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget, a beer a day keeps the doctor away. Okay.